To the right of the plug-in slots is the stock 4-band EQ. Clicking on the edit button will open the EQ GUI. To the right of that is the pan mute invert section. Pan uses the 0 dB pan law by default. Turning the stereo knob to the left collapses the image into a mono signal. Turning it to the right gives you enhanced stereo. Ticking the left-right box reverses the stereo image. Click on Edit to access the different pan options. The top section features the same controls as the main object editor, including 0dB pan law for balance plus stereo enhancement. Alternatively, you can use the minus 4.5dB pan law setting plus stereo enhancement. Clicking on two channel panorama gives you left and right controls for narrowing or widening the stereo image. Clicking on two channel volume lets you adjust the left and right levels of a stereo signal. You can also access the EQ and pan controls by right-clicking over any of the knobs. Below that are invert and mute tick boxes. Then you have the volume fader with reset and normalize buttons. Double clicking on the fader resets it to zero as well. To the right of that you can change sample and background color using the color chooser. Below that are lock, FX bypass and freeze tick boxes. Ticking the lock checkbox locks the selected objects based on the lock object definitions. A diagonal line appears on the object to show this is activated. To access these definitions, press Y and go to the lock object definitions tab. Bypass FX bypasses all enabled object effects, of course. Ticking the freeze checkbox will freeze the currently selected object and remove all of the plugins. Here's an example. I'll add an FX chain. Now when I tick the freeze checkbox, the entire FX chain is frozen. The object editor settings have been rendered into a new audio object. Unticking the freeze checkbox reverses the freeze process and restores the plugin settings. Freezing includes all object editor settings except auxiliary sends. The To All button, when active, copies the settings of the first selected object to all other selected objects. I will be covering this function in greater detail in another tutorial. Below that are copy and paste icons. Use these to transfer settings from one object to another. Below that is the FX Routing button, which I mentioned earlier. I showed you the play stop and play solo buttons. Object name lets you edit the name of the object of course. If multiple objects are selected, you can give them all the same name by clicking on the To All button. I'm typing in the text box, clicking the To All button. Now the selected objects have all the same name. The left and right arrows are for selecting the next or previous objects. So that more or less covers everything related to the Object Effects tab.